Well, but I'm excited today because I have Linda Savidra from Show Homes, a great partner of ours, and Show Homes has um, been in the Tampa market for several years, a national company, but you guys have really done some great things, and we've been super impressed with our experience so far. But I wanted to have you on the show today because I think that, you know, there's really a void in the marketplace. I think a lot of consumers will watch HGTV, they know the importance of staging, but not enough homes being staged. You know, more people need to take advantage of it because they make more money, they sell more, you know, sell more quickly. And today I think, you know, with, with the presentation being all about the internet, staging is also a real crucial, important part of, you know, having great photos, great video. But, you know, that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you today, Linda, is, you know, statistically, uh, you know, homes staged by show homes sell more quickly and make more money, you know, for their sellers. Absolutely, and uh, great to be here today, Andrew. Um, it is today all about presentation. I mean, really, the Internet has been the game changer in selling homes, and now 93% of consumers find their homes online. So that very first look online of that photo either grabs them and captures their attention, or they click on it and click past it. So staging really helps us create that wow that captures them from their very first look. You know, and it's 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 interesting because, you know, that, that click, you know, what happens if you don't capture their attention is they click next. Absolutely. They go on to the next property. Whatever website they're on, whatever agent you work with, if that first picture doesn't capture you or you click into the additional pictures and see things you don't like, you click next. Now, there's certainly investors out there shopping for bargains, and, and there's always people looking for homes that need work, but, but the typical home buyer is, is very emotional in their process. They they need to you know, really see the lifestyle of a property, and staging helps to, to bring that out. One of the things that you provided us you know, when we first started talking to you guys about this was a report, and I'm going to post it on our Facebook page. So if you're not a uh, member of our Facebook page, you're thinking about selling your home, and you're curious about staging, go to facebook.com slash the Duncan, Duncan Duo Show. Again, it's uh, facebook.com slash the Duncan Duo Show. If you're in Facebook, you can search for the Duncan Duo Show. But you have a list of probably 30 homes and you know vacant versus staged how many home how long they were on the market um, before staging and then how long they were after you know some of these on here 500 days on market sold in 30 days after staged. 600 days in on market sold in 70 days after staging you know and that's a th those are important features and a lot of these are really nice well-priced luxury properties but i think it's important for the consumer to understand how much money they lose by not selling it in a reasonable time frame. If it sits on the market for a year, not only are they going to get lowballed, but then they've paid all those mortgage payments, taxes, insurance. It's just a way better scenario to sell their home in a reasonable time frame to invest you know, a little bit of energy and time into the staging aspect. Absolutely, and it's a really great point that you bring up is that sometimes sellers really get hung up on thinking that staging is a cost versus an investment with a phenomenal return on investment with a return. Because it isn't about just you know, selling it for fast or the highest price. You do have to factor in the holding costs that are involved in carrying that house on and on. And as we all know, the longer the house stays on the market, the lower the price is going to end up being. Well, and, and just like we said, not, not just that, but not only the lower the price, but then the lower their true net. Yes. Because there's paying mortgage payments, yes. taxes, insurance. And then, of course, by the time the buyer does finally show up and it's been on the market, you know, a couple hundred days, seven, eight months, the buyer smells blood. The buyer thinks that, you know, something something's wrong with this house. Absolutely. And staging helps to prevent that. Absolutely. What staging does is it really kind of changes the whole mindset, really, of the buyer. I mean, look, let's be realistic. We all like really nice things. We like things that are pretty and dressed up. And staging, selling a house is really about remarketing your home. And once you put it on the market for sale for a seller, an investor, it really is about, it becomes a, a product, a, a commodity that you're wanting to sell to capture the best buyer that's going to pay you the most premium price, obviously in the fastest time. So it is really about presenting that home in a sense that's going to get all those things back to the buyer. I think the other aspect, the you know, and, and I think the other aspect of it, well, you mentioned the buyer, and again, people buy a lifestyle. You know, they're buying four walls, but, but truthfully, they buy a lifestyle, which is one of the reasons we started doing the videos that we do, because, you know, it's hard even in photos to show the lifestyle of a property. And you guys have worked with us on some of those videos, and I think it, that's the truest way to really tell the lifestyle. But, but looking at the cost of it, 
you know, just like you mentioned, it really doesn't cost you anything if it makes you more money. It, you know, it made you money. It, it was an investment. And, you know, there are homes and, and circumstances and experience. You know, we had one recently that sold in a couple of days after it was, it was on the market for months and months and months. You guys staged it, sold in two days. You know, and, and, um, and you guys have a track record of that all over your website, which is showhomestampa.com, I believe, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Again, it's showhomestampa.com. And another aspect of it is, you know, very few sellers can visualize their own home. In other words, they live there. They have an emotional attachment. It's hard for themselves to separate themselves to realize, you know what, the picture of little Johnny in the football uniform in the entry foyer probably shouldn't be there. Or... The, uh, the old rotted couches that are really comfortable but look terrible or the TV, you know, the great big TV on the wall in a small room, you know, all those different things. Sellers live there so they're kind of used to it and it's hard for them to separate themselves to be able to effectively stage the home themselves because they have an emotional attachment. Yeah, and that's a really good point, Andrew. We see this all the time. In the staging that we do, we do owner-occupied staging and we do vacant home staging. And with owner-occupied, when we live in our home, we collect a lot of stuff that we don't see. And so you're absolutely right. They are blind to that stuff. And so we come in and we can give a great consultation that kind of helps them understand it's time to declutter. I mean, that is really the number one staging tip that we put out there, declutter, for a couple of reasons. A, you're selling space, not your stuff. You do want your buyer to visualize themselves there, not be hung up or curious about the people that actually do live there. Plus, let's be realistic, they're moving. So it's to, Might to, well begin, start packing now, to right? begin decluttering and packing makes it so much easier and so much less stressful. And then after they get that decluttering and organizing and they've edited out about half their stuff and they've packed away the NASCAR collection and the snow globes, <laughs> that you know, we come in as a team and we can help them kind of redesign. We redesign their home, do a little makeover magic that really sets the stage for that look that model home look that we know buyers respond to, fall in love with, and boom, have to have that house. And that's the truth. It's the model home. I mean, I met, I met with a, a client yesterday, and I told him the same advice. And his situation is a little different. It's a short sale, so he can't exactly, you know, he can't cure, you know, he can't work the stage again. But the scenario I gave him was think model home. And, and that's exactly what, you know, the consumer has to think of. And, and most sellers don't have the skill set or understanding on how to get it there, which is where you guys come in. You guys have been great for us. And I think, you know, the, the, I think that's really the key when you're, you know, when you're thinking about selling your home, this is one caveat to it. And, you know, we introduce our clients that, 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 that fit, you know, you guys' model and, and uh, you guys have done a great job for us. And I think it's important to our clients to understand that. But not only that, I think it's important to put your best foot forward, and I think your statistics show that. You know, on average, um, your average time on market is staged before listing was 16 days um, for this statistical query that you, you pulled for us. And I'm sure that changes over time, just like ours. You know, our average time to go under contract is 14 days right now. It was 19 days, but, you know, so it goes back and forth. But the point is, is that if you do everything up front, you know, if you do it afterwards, it's not like you can't do it. It's not like you can't stage it after it's been on the market a while and get it sold. But it's way better to do it right up front before it's even on the market. You know, it's 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 way better to do it right when it hits the market. Absolutely, because again, as you said, it's it's the very first group of buyers that are going to be your best potential candidate. So the best case scenario is stage it right before it goes live on the market. Now it's new, fresh, exciting. It's beautiful. It doesn't become a stale property. If it's, pr it's all about price and condition, and staging is the condition component of that, along with obviously repairs and having it really clean. But don't wait till it gets uh, become stale and then in panic. Oh my gosh, I have to stage. You've already missed an opportunity for all those buyers that passed by your right. house. And and when you're new on the market, you have the best advantage to get the best price. You Absolutely. know because people see it as a as a great opportunity. And and I think again, you guys can probably speak to this too. Bidding wars being commonplace in our market right now. If you want to create more reasons why buyers will chase your home and pay more money, um, you know, certainly staging is is an important aspect of that. But I think, like we talked about the photos, you know, almost every buyer uses the internet. I mean, if and if and if you don't have great looking photos of your home, again, can the home sell? Yes. Are you going to get the most amount of money, you know, possible if you have you know a house that needs that, that should have been cleaned up a little bit or um, you know, should have had some improvements done to it. No, probably not. You know, and, and that's another aspect of it. You know, for all the realtors out there listening, I think one of the great benefits for a realtor is that we don't have to be the bad guy. 
you know, we don't have to be the one that tells the client, hey, look, your, you know, this thing's got to come down. This is, this looks bad. And sometimes realtors, I'm personally not afraid to tell a client that. I mean, I think we've built our reputation where a lot of our clients come to us as a trusted advisor. But there are some realtors out there conscious and scared of saying, hey, look, your, your anniversary photo that you took 37 years ago, you know, with the dog in the picture and the mullet, you know, you got to take that picture down, you know. And um, so, you know, you guys can step in and be the bad guy so the realtor can keep selling and not have to tell them, you know, what's, what's up. Yeah, it's a great point. We, we talk about we can preserve that realtor seller relationship by being the bad guy and we have no problem doing that all day long that is what we do and to give those really important pieces of advice about that purple and black wall really does have to be neutralized and painted and here's the reasons why that's the case and we have tons of stats that can prove it is such an amazing magical thing how staging works and again if you have questions about staging you can see their website showhomestampa.com you'll hear me talking about them quite a bit on the radio show uh, in the future you can also call us um, toll free 855-970-WFLA again it's toll free 855-970-9352 if you have questions about this or questions about anything related to buying a home selling a home foreclosures Again, uh, 855-970-WFLA. That phone number actually rings to my office uh, when we aren't on the air. So if you happen to have a question about staging afterwards, you can certainly call us. We'd love to point you to, to Linda's direction and, and help you. And uh, if you have questions today, feel free to call us. And we'd love the opportunity to answer your question or uh, certainly you know, point you in the right direction. When we aren't on air, you can check out uh, information about us by searching for The Duncan Duo on Facebook or YouTube. Uh, we do post uh, videos of our show, so this video, this conversation with Linda today about staging. Uh, if you've got a loved one that's sitting at home that should be hearing uh, our conversation right now and, and you want to you know, catch up with it by watching the YouTube video later, you can certainly do that. You can check that out on our YouTube channel or by searching for us again on Facebook. And again, if you have questions about staging, um, whatever it is, uh, you can call us, 855-970-WFLA. And one other thing that we'll talk to after the break, one of the things I really like about what you guys do is not only do you stage, but you have this home manager program that kind of like takes away the responsibilities from the owner and, and you know, limits their cost a little bit more than, than some traditional staging methods, but also kind of helps by putting someone in the home like as a manager, almost like a, a you know, a partner in the sale of the property. So it's a really intriguing program. We're going to talk about that after a quick break here on 970 WFLA.